so day four and my weight didn't drop again today so it's exactly the same as it was yesterday now I would usually be a bit concerned but to be honest it's not always gonna drop like I said yesterday your weight cannot drop even if you are in a deficit now the strange thing is yesterday I actually ate quite low calories I ate around 2,500 calories when my actual goal is 2,700 so I was like yeah I'm definitely gonna lose and I didn't so it sometimes happens so you can't you can't think that just by being in a bigger deficit you are naturally gonna lose weight sometimes your body takes a bit longer to adjust to that deficit to then see the result so if you've started a deficit this week and you haven't dropped weight yet be patient with it your time will come so every day or every day every weekday usually around kind of one two o'clock I take a little walk to the coffee shop just to change up my scenery a bit and carry on kind of with my work writing plans writing articles editing videos like this vlog just to kind of change up my scenery because I usually spend a lot of time if I'm not at the gym or with clients at home and it's not very good to work at home because when your home becomes your office and your office becomes your home they just don't mix very well so I usually go to a coffee shop and just carry on kind of cracking on my day and then I wait till they kick me out then back home and then I try and eventually chill out so I thought I'd give you that bit of insight even if you're interested or maybe you're not but it's a bit about me and my day-to-day -day life well, guys day six of my 30 day lean with Lee and this morning I actually woke up lighter after four days of weighing the same weight so I was 202 pounds flat for the past four days so Tuesday Wednesday Thursday and Friday and that was after losing 3.6 pounds and I've been in a deficit all week and I've been drinking lots of water and I've been training and as I said yes a couple of days ago you know it's not always going to be the case that you drop body fat just because you're in that deficit sometimes it takes a little bit longer for your body to adjust and then finally boom you drop down so today I was 200 pounds so 200.6 and uh, that's two pounds down um, overnight pretty much and one of the things um, I believe the one of the reasons why this happens is because um, I've had a good rest so my body um, I had about seven eight hours sleep now I've been having around six hours for the past few nights and I I honestly believe like that's affected my the number I've been seeing on the scales and this happened before where I've kind of had a good sleep, seven, eight hours, nine hours, and I've woken up lighter. Now this might have happened to you as well, and it might actually happen if you were doing kind of a weight loss journey right now where you've slept really well and you wake up lighter. One of the reasons for this is because you've um, depleted overnight. So your body depletes um, energy stores overnight, depletes glycogen, you lose water. And that's what I believe I've been holding on to for a few days. And so today it's literally overnight two pounds down. Now I haven't changed anything really over the past day. So yeah, it's my body adjusting to the diet, adjusting to the deficit um, and responding pretty positively to the challenge. So that's kind of where I'm at with my weight. So yeah, this is really motivating to see. And you will get times when you do see the same number on the scales for a few days and you get a bit kind of you get down about it you feel a bit flattened out and you feel a bit disheartened because you're not seeing that number move down now one of the things that I do with my weight is I look at it over a seven day period so I look at my weight over a seven day average and that is what I kind of class as my weight for that week so I don't look at it absolutely from day to day and go right that is my weight I know that there's fluctuations throughout the week and then it's that seven day average which is what I take as my number. So I'm not, I've not been too concerned this week, um, particularly because it's the first week and I've just been kind of creating um, that deficit and getting adjusted to the diet. But from this week, I'll have that average number that I can then work from for next week and have kind of that one to two pound aim of losing body fat. In terms of training, I have gone a little bit harder than I usually go. I've kind of trained six days this week four being quite intense weight sessions. Um, Monday for me is chest and shoulders. Tuesday is legs. Now Wednesday I did back 
and biceps. Thursday was kind of core and cardio. Friday I did shoulders and triceps and then today was just kind of what I like to do on Saturday is a bit of a touch up. I did some biceps, some core. Um, so it's quite a low intense, it's a low intensity workout. And so yeah, I've been really active. I've done two hit sessions which have lasted five minutes each. One was on the bike, kind of like a what bike high intensity sprint for five minutes, you see on and off, and then also on the treadmill doing what I call dead mill sprints, sprinting at an incline and then resting. And so it's worked quite well for me. And I was gonna do cardio today, but after seeing that change on the scales, I just decided like I've lost 5.6 pounds this week. Now, like I said, largely a lot of it is water weight. So I didn't need to really go any harder than what I've done. I'm quite happy with what I've seen and I'm happy with how I'm looking today. And that's kind of one of the main things that I'm gonna be going by is how I look and how I feel in myself. Now, two days ago, I was feeling really blobby, really watery, and just, you know, not feeling very good in myself. And today I feel totally different. And so you go through these kind of ups and downs and these battles with yourself, and you get these moments of disbelief and you get these moments of uncertainty where you're not sure if you're actually making a difference. But once you stick it through and once, you, once you're patient with it, you will start to see the changes that you wanna see. So that is pretty much where I'm at with everything. Six days in, body fat's dropping, back into training, you know, feeling some doms because it's the first proper week back and it's a new year. Um, and just readjusting to my my diet again. Um, so Friday night for me, Friday and Saturday nights are usually the hardest. And last night was Friday night. And you know, naturally you, you get into that habit of end of the week, wanting some kind of you know comfort foods. And I really um, disciplined myself yesterday to avoid you know, reaching for those foods and those things that I would usually reach for and kind of going crazy. So I was really sensible. I've been having a lot of green tea that really helps suppress your appetite, so try that one as well. And I was really proud of myself to be able to go through you know, that entire day and not then I slip up as I would maybe have usually done. And this week I've also only had three squares of lint dark chocolate. Now, if you're like me and you're kind of, once you have a little bit, you want all of it, you know, it's probably better to cut things out. Um, but I'm quite proud that I've also been able to discipline myself to just stick to that little bit and stay within my calorie needs. So they're my wins for the week. Challenges and kind of next week's goals are to increase my cardio, definitely get a lot more steps in. I'm tracking my steps here. So I'll report that as well on the blog and how many steps I'm gonna be aiming for and what I've done this week. And I'll be trying to just be a lot more active and more conscious of how much I'm moving. So I'm burning calories that way as well. So that's it really. Um, if you guys have any questions, comment below or message me directly on any of the social medias and stay tuned. Um, I will be showing you guys kind of that progress picture journey, but you can see it also on my Instagram and Facebook as well. I'll try and stick to the vlogs for these kind of updates for you guys. So I'll see you guys in week two and I think episode four. Peace.